All right, so I did this part of the pistol only challenge without recording because my girlfriend was asleep. So I'm adding commentary in post. Yes, we're back with the pistol only challenge. And uh, I have a new computer, so I had to totally play up to this point. So you may notice slight differences in my inventory, but we are back doing it all pistol. And in the time I took off from playing this game was mostly due to the fact I could not beat this part. It was almost impossible. Even with save spamming, as you guys said, I still could not beat it. And that's why... I feel like we're allowed to save as much as we want. As a wise man once said, it's not about how many times you save, it's about how many times you load. And uh, I did ask my viewers before this challenge if I they wanted to see me just do one perfect run through the level or they wanted to see more of a natural playthrough and that's what you're kind of seeing here. Minus about 30 minutes of practice to develop some strats for this part. Um, but my strats are much along the same strats I used originally for this part, if you guys remember that. Um, I tend to always hide in this little house, um, and just kind of draw the guards to me, and, that, and that's what you see me doing here. Um, this wasn't a perfect segment here, for sure. Um, we did die a couple times, but overall I'm pretty pleased with it. We didn't die a lot. Um, if you like these sort of things, I am thinking about doing some Twitch streaming. And if that's something you'd be interested in watching, you can uh, leave it below in the comments. Just leave me and say, yeah, I'd love to watch you on Twitch. We could also do some YouTube streams, but I just feel like we're not pulling in enough viewers to doing that. And maybe, you know, expanding to a new platform as well. So here you see me brawling it out with these guards. And obviously they have better range than I do. Even aiming down iron sights, it doesn't really do much for your accuracy. I feel like it's almost better to wait till the crosshair is red um, and just unload clips and I have over a thousand rounds of ammunition right now but as you see by the end of this I really am starting to run low um, I think I used three or four hundred rounds of ammunition um, pretty soon here I'm gonna take my first death though unfortunately because um, I get too bold um, but yeah this is the general tactic we're gonna use for the first part here um, we want to get them close to the building like this guy and then just try to go for headshots and I get a lot better at that as the run goes on um, but you really have to go for headshots that that's 100% you're not gonna win um, without those and so uh, that's mainly my strategy is to try to funnel them towards this door and I can also use the door for cover. They have much better range and better damage profile with their weapons than I do. And you can see my armor is just taking a beating. And as my stalker suit, um, you don't really want that to take a beating. Um, I mistakenly thought there was mercenary armor here. And it was actually at the first battleground. And you'll see me go check for it here later. Only to find to my dismay that it is not there. Um, and so that is never good. So now I'm just waiting. Just waiting, waiting, waiting. There's a lot of waiting. Um, yeah, we're just kind of sitting here. I think I got impatient at one point. Oh, he surprised me. And he surprised me on the commentary, too. And there's another guy outside. But as you can see, my tactic is just to get them to the door and just shoot them right in the head. This is my first death. They just overwhelmed me. And that was always something I had to... Uh, had to be cautious of, you know, they can easily overwhelm you. And so now I know they're coming, um, and so I try to kind of get out and, and wall them off. I go kill this guy first, just because he was annoying me. I'd been battling it out for him with him for a couple minutes now, and uh, I wasn't getting anywhere. I'm looking for his body. He's hidden in the fucking bushes. There he is. And I search his body. Nothing. Um, and I'm about to take my second death, but it was actually good, because when I came back, this guy had an army med kit on him. Which, as you can see, I, I'm running low on med kits already. Like 30 bandages, and I relied on a lot of bandages to get through this. So I thought I could just go over here, take this guy out. But it turns out he has a friend. See, I didn't see his friend. So they killed me pretty quick. And then, because I was so angry that that guy killed me, I ran back over here, killed this guy again. Because I just, he was my top priority. And luckily, see, there's the army med kit. So we take that, and we're back up to 8 total med kits and about 34 bandages. So we go over here, because I was mad. I'm like, fuck this guy. He's going down. Him and his buddy, I know they're here. He's going to unload on him close range. Nope. They obviously have better weapons than I do, so they're easily able to kill me. So I was 
At this point, I just decided to go for the building. And uh, I left that barrel because I thought maybe I would need it on my way out. And I knew there was only four total um, PDA readings. So this guy, he started to run away from me. So I knew he was reloading. So I popped around the trailer. And you'll see, headshot. So now I'm starting to aim more for the heads because uh, I just started to get more in the zone, I guess. So then we got this guy, walk up, and headshot him. See, that is definitely the tactic. So he's got bandages. We took those. We work our way up the building. And I'm pretty sure I just skipped the second floor entirely for now. Yeah, I just go right for the documents. Because um, I figured, hey, I'll just get them and get out of here. And then I forgot that a bunch more military come in after you get the documents. So here I am battling it out with him, and I'm about to go grab him. Okay, so now I have to take them to the barkeep, which I don't do in this segment. We'll do it the next segment. Um, if you guys even want to watch me just walk to the barkeep, if not, I'll uh, go ahead and go to Dark Valley. The only thing of interest you might find in the next segment would be watching me update my inventory. And so maybe we will shut. Here I am going to the second floor, just clearing it out. A couple rounds of ammunition. I'm already down to 940 rounds, and I had over, I had 1,100, I think, when I started this area. And you can see we're not using the pistol we were using the last time, which fired the Viper bullets. We are just using the regular fort pistol. So yeah, they got me. Um, I kind of forgot they would be just waiting right there. That was another death. But from here on out is where we really start to just start to play well. I don't remember taking any more deaths after this, um, although there may be one. Oh, there is one. Um, some wild boars get me. Um, I didn't anticipate them. So this is my normal tactic as well. Just jump off the roof and just run your ass home. Although I ran out of stamina. I didn't really anticipate that. So I kind of go over to the side here. I can use the helicopter for cover. There's trees and stuff. And I just kind of run and walk. Yeah, I'm looking for an energy drink. Um, I just take the safety with the tourist delight. So that way I can just heal up a little bit. There I am saving. And you can see they're, at this range, neither of us is going to hit each other. I'm just unloading my pistol just to fuck with them, I guess. I knew it wasn't going to hit anyone. And here I am just kind of looking through my inventory. So basically, at this point, I have beaten the mission. But I did not feel good because I left all those military guys just sitting there, you know. And normally, we wipe them out, right? Last playthrough with the AK, we wiped them out. So here's where I take my next death. I went to this uh, stash, I leave, and then I'm just surrounded by boars. And I mean, even if I'd survived this, I was wasting all of my healing items on these boars. Like, it just left me, in a, it would have left me in an awful state. So I went ahead and took the death. I mean, I tried to get away. It wasn't like I just took the death immediately. Then you can just see, I'm like, well, I'll go off fighting, but I'm never going to beat these boars. And that is the problem with these pistols. Um, the ones we have now don't do enough damage. So then I just decided to say, fuck the stash. We're not getting that. We don't need it. It didn't really have anything in it that was useful. And so let's just forget it. So now we got to run past more military guys, which is always a pain. So I was kind of watching my PDA to see how many military guys were in each of these areas because I just wanted to fight maybe one or two at a time. And as you can see, there's only one on my PDA here, so I am just decided to take him out because I knew I could, and maybe he would drop a med kit or something. See, I got him on the reload, headshot. And that's going to have to be our tactic from now on. And I've also loaded up on bulletproof um, artifacts. And at the end of this, I actually went and picked up the night stars by the fence, um, by the radiated fence line. And uh, those are really going to help us uh, to just be able to get closer to our targets and shoot them. Um, although I'm already thinking of strategies for the next area, Dark Valley, it shouldn't actually be too hard because all we're fighting are bandits. So here I try to duke it out with the military a little bit because I just thought, kind of lame, I didn't go and kill all the military guys, you know. I think I just give up here because I was just wasting ammo. They're obviously outranging me with their AKs. There's no way, really, I'm gonna be able to, uh, gonna be able to hit them from here. I thought maybe I could, and I think I take one of them down. Um, I think the closest one to me, I could see him flinching from the shot. There he is. See, he just took, he just flinched. So I knew I could take him out at least. 
they are just like shooting the shit out of me though my armor's already a halfway um so I got one of them but I, I just knew sitting here was just gonna be a waste of time so eventually I do wander off um, but we come back to these guys um, All right, so here I am. I'm just like, fuck that. We're not going to get anywhere. And so I'm like, I'll just leave the level, right? Um, pick up some artifacts on the way to sell to the barkeep. And yeah, we'll just leave because uh, I completed the pistol only challenge. You know, I did the uh, did the main part and we can just leave. But, uh, you know, I decided to hang out a little bit longer. I'm like, let's go here in the tunnel and we'll uh, that'll make an interesting end of the video plus there's some decent artifacts in here so we run through the tunnel real fast and just kinda raid it out when we go in here pick up some stone flowers which are always handy jellyfish for some reason I didn't see I had a bunch of stone I, I mean I knew I had stone flowers but I didn't equip one as to the jellyfish and honestly I probably should have equipped something else here to help me with these anomalies um, so now we're at the end of the tunnel, and I'm just kind of scouting it out. Yep, nothing interesting, nothing at all. A meat chunk, I think, here. So now we just leave, and then I heard some voices. I could hear them in the tunnel. And so I knew there was going to be some military dudes waiting outside. I mistakenly thought it might be, like, some, some free stalkers, uh, some loners or something hanging out out there. Um, that maybe were left over from the fight, um, and wandered off or whatever. So here I am duking it out with these guys, and I can hit them a little bit better. I actually could hit them crouched down like this, but uh, just wasn't able to see them very well. And they were not really able to hit me. Once I started moving, you can see over there I'm, I'm taking some damage, but ran up on him. Got the first one. I thought there was two, but I guess only one. Maybe I got the other one and I wasn't even looking. Um, so now is where we start to, I don't want his AK-47, we're not going to use it, take his anti-radiation, and I'm restocking on bandages, you can see I'm down to 8 bandages, um, the fight really, and I'm down to 740 something rounds of ammunition there, so we really lost a lot of supplies, I decided to raid back to the factory here, because I thought maybe I hadn't raided all the bodies, there could be more some more stuff, plus I knew there was artifacts that were around here. So I just am getting these to sell the barkeep so we can get better armor again, get a better pistol for sure. Um, but we are going to save money by not having to buy expensive ammunition types and uh, expensive weaponry. So I start raiding in here and I just discover, oh my lord, these guys got a lot. Like I apparently I missed a bunch. Or maybe they all die when you leave the area. Uh, although I know for sure the Spetsa didn't wipe them out because I wiped them fuckers out. Um... So here we are just raiding bodies for bandages, ammunition, because, um, you know, now I'm already back up to 790. The good thing about this pistol is almost everyone carries ammo for it. We're also getting stash locations, which, as you can see shortly, was a great idea because we actually, um, the, the, getting back to this point, because I wanted to just get back here, I didn't grab the upgraded pistol like we did in the first playthrough, but I get it in a stash here, um, the one that fires the Viper ammo. So I'm just raiding in here, just taking people's shit. Not really much to say about this part. See, I can see that stash over, um, you can see it on the mini-map there. And I was like, okay, let's just raid on in. It's a grave site over here. And look at that. And it's got upgraded ammunition and a silencer. I could have get the silencer to attach to it, though. Um, but that's okay. Uh, my cats are arguing over there. So as you can see now... You see, here's me just trying to fuck with the silencer. So just ignore that. Oh, 
Alright, so now we've got our upgraded pistol. We're running around the buildings. Yeah, the reason why I lost my saves is I upgraded my computer, and so I was unable to get the saves to carry over. Um, so I just got back to this point. Okay, so I was just basically done at this point, raiding bodies, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I ran through the main area. I think I just came through here, and then we went back and uh, spent about eight minutes here uh, eradicating the rest of the military. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's go ahead and head over there, I guess, is I think what my thought was. Um, yes. I think I was headed for this stash that you see kind of on the mini-map up there at this point. Pretty sure that's what I decided to do. Yep, I'm headed right for it. It's in this little tree, and I forget what the hell it was. Well, we're about to find out, though. Oh, the energy drinks and some more upgraded ammo um, for that pistol that I'm rocking. And honestly, this pistol is just far better than that the other one we were using. Even though it is the upgraded fort pistol, um, certainly not as good as the one that we're using right now. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do here. See what we can see. So here I am swapping out. I realized I had a jellyfish still, which is like, I don't need it because these stone flowers are obviously so much better. So here I am running, running, running. Because I was mad. I decided, you know, these military fuckers, they just, they would make a great target for my new pistol. So I ran back over to the first group here, um, the one where I had killed the guy on the right hand side. And uh, this guy doesn't even notice me shooting at him, which means I'm definitely not hitting anywhere in his area. So I, I snuck up and then obviously he saw me. So here we go, brawling with him at range. Um, I'm kind of testing range with my pistol, and I can hit him from here now. You see, we couldn't even hit him before, but I can hit him now. This pistol's got way better range. So we take him down. And I'm still far enough away that I'm not actually reading their PDA signatures, so now I can see there's three. But, um... You can see I'm a lot more bold now. This is my new strategy, and I swapped out my armor to the brand new Merc armor that we found. Um, and you can see for the rest of this run, I really just am a lot more aggressive. And that is certainly the tactic we're going to have to use the rest of the run. Look at that. So headshots, just running up to them, unloading clips, headshots. That's what we're going to have to do, especially when the enemies get better and better gear. But hopefully, we'll get better gear. The problem is with pistols, is you kind of cap out. There's, there's not really a great pistol. We're going to have to go find Gordon Freeman. And, uh, and steal his pistol, and then we're going to have to just use it for special occasions um, because we don't want it to deteriorate. Um, so here I am just raiding these guys because, you know, we're going to have to uh, rely on that. So you can see that I'm already getting quite a supply of bandages and med kits, but I knew there was still some guys alive, you know. We got to go raid this body over here. Um, see, so now I've got seven med kits again. I'm rocking 11 bandages, 12 bandages now. Feeling good. Um, I don't think there's anything in these boxes. It's just a waste of my time to break them open. But you see how much better the graphics look um, on this current setup than they did on the last one. I'm able to run this game in maximum settings while running fraps. So, now we go mob up the base. Because these guys, they disrespected Grizzle Survivor. This guy, I don't know what he's doing. I guess I caught him when he was just taking a shit or something, but we gun him down. Um, I knew I could shoot that barrel, but it just did not want to blow up. So they took him out. We see three. So I just knew I could just overwhelm him by running up on him. I didn't know where anyone else was at, and I just wanted to neutralize these targets as quick as possible. So I didn't get overwhelmed. I see I'm, I don't know where they're at. I'm looking for them. I can see their, their PDA's four. But I'm just running around. I'm not taking any fire right now. So I'm like, okay, where are they at? Get over here. I'm taking fire. Where is it coming from? I didn't notice at first. Um, that's why I'm looking around. 
It's a guard tower. And the easiest way to kill these guard tower guys is literally just to run up the ladder like this. And with the pistol, you can actually shoot while climbing, and you just gun him down. It's so easy. He was still alive, just gun him down. He had nothing, and it was ridiculous to climb up here. So there's a couple more left. I know they're not reading on the PDA signatures. Um, there's one. Two. One. Two. So I'm like, well, where are these guys at? Decided to check the building. So there he is. I'm just going to do the same tactic I, I, I started. Now that I have a lot of higher bulletproofing, this tactic works a lot. When you're lower levels in the levels, when you don't have better as good equipment in the game, you, you can't really do this. You have to really be more selective in these pistol battles. But with this, you can just run right up and watch. Boom. Right in the head. That's how we have to do it. And these guys aren't even spetses, they don't even have great armor yet. And my cat needs to be quiet. He, he got fed, folks. He gets fed a lot. He has a thyroid issue, he's always hungry. But he gets fed more than you think. More than he would let have you know. Okay, so now we have two more, one more. So it's kind of, you know, one, I can see there's two. We're just building up our bandage supply again. There's another one. So we're gonna just adopt the same tactic. Run right up and just unload a clip into him. Headshot. You sick of me saying headshot yet, folks? All right, so here we are. I just decided to blow up the barrel to be dramatic since we're, you know, over killing tons of dudes. And then I was looking for the last... There's a PDA blip somewhere, but uh, I did go in the building and search for it and, and to get some of those stashes. Um, but the last guy, he was hiding at this point. He just watched me wipe out an entire military base full of people with just a pistol, so he was pretty scared. And as you can see, we didn't take any more deaths from this point. Now, if you're playing vanilla Stalker, you can always sneak in this back way here too. But it's not as easy. I mean, it, it may seem like you can just stealthily sneak in there. We're going to sell those. But you really can't, even in vanilla. They, the guards see you. They're all over you. Um, they'll come back there and shoot you. So I see there's one on the PDA here. And I was like, I'll run through the building and take a look for him. Um, then I just, I was like, you know what? What, what more do my viewers want from me? I just wiped out the whole base. I, I went back and proved we can do this with the pistol. Um, and so each segment will probably go. I will give it a practice run or two just to develop some strats. Um, that way you don't see me save as much and take as many deaths. Um, because it is a little bit cheap. I know we agreed on my Facebook page that we all, that, that that was totally okay. You guys wanted to see an organic playthrough with all the frustrations. But, um... You don't want to see me practice and practice and practice on on a video. That's just not fun. So I will do the practicing, and then as soon as I feel confident enough to complete a decent run, I will give it a shot. And here's pretty much where I ended the run. Um, the only thing I did after I shut this off was ran over to the right and grabbed a bunch of the Night Stars, which are the most powerful bulletproofing item in the game. Um, I think there's one more that's a little bit better. Because it doesn't radiate you at all. And I forget what the heck that is called. Um, but we ran over there and got those. But I decided this would be a good place to cut off. Because, uh, yeah, obviously we didn't need to do anymore. 